So the Catastracti and Tartarus Terminators have lost a lot of flavour in their new codex, but does the unit still have a point in a competitive list? Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, the strategy focused 40k channel, where today we're putting our heresy era Terminator armour under the microscope and seeing if it's not past its sell by date for deploying in the 41st millennium. So Games Workshop has done a few weird things in the new Codex Space Marines. A fair few units had their data sheets separated out into multiple different entries, such as Predator Annihilators and Destructors, for example. But for some reason, the Cataphracti and Tartarus Terminators, each of whom had their own data sheets, haven't been quite so lucky. In the previous Codex, Cataphracti Terminators had a 4 plus invul save, though had a few significant downsides for that mighty advantage. They did cost 3 points more than regular Terminators, and were a fair bit slower with a shorter movement, and they halved the result of advanced rolls. Tartarus Terminators were basically standard Terminators plus 1 for the most part. Rather than having a 5 inch move, they had a 6 inch move, and it didn't cost them anything extra. And they were quite a popular Terminator variant to field competitively, because every single one could take a Power Fist or Chain Fist, rather than having to mess around with an underwhelming Power Sword on the Sergeant. In the new Codex, they have unfortunately been rolled into the Relic Terminator squad, which means rules-wise there's now no difference between the two models, no 4 plus invuls, no extra movement, so the only advantages and disadvantages that they have against Terminators is the gear that they have access to. So their stat line is now essentially the same as regular Terminators. Despite the loss of flavour, I'd still say they're stronger overall, jumping up to 3 wounds is just a whopping survivability boost, and they are looking better than ever to field in a competitive army. Weirdly though, compared with the standard Terminators, they now essentially cost one more point than your standard issue Terminator. These guys cost 34 points per model, so they compare poorly to Dual Lightning Claw Assault Terminators, who are 33, and they'll cost you more than Chain Fist and Storm Bolt of regular Terminators, who are 38, when these guys will cost 39. Despite these guys being quite cheap base, they have to pay for the Power Fist or Chain Fist, which takes them to 39. So at first glance they do look like regular Terminators minus one, but I still think that there are some very compelling reasons to take them in a competitive army. Most obviously, though perhaps not the main reason, is their special war gear that they can take. They have access to a lot of toys that regular Terminators don't, including the Reaper Autogannon, Grenade Harness, Plasma Blaster and Volkite Charger. All of them will cost you 5 points to field, most of them replace your Combi Bolter, besides the Grenade Harness, which you get as well. The Reaper Autocannon is heavy 4, 36 inches, strength 7, AP minus 2, and damage 1. It is a good general all-round weapon, it'll put some damage on basically anything, but honestly not all that much. You are likely going to be moving with it, so it'll be hitting on force, and it's usually good for an extra half a wound or so on heavy infantry like Space Marines, which isn't bad, but for me it's a bit of a take-or-leave upgrade. The grenade harness though I do find quite interesting. It's a 12-inch assault D6 weapon with strength 4, AP minus 1, damage 1, and blast. Despite its name, it isn't actually a grenade weapon, and instead of replacing the combi bolter, you do get this one on top of it. That does mean that you could have a terminator. It does mean that you could have a terminator putting out anything up to 10 strength 4 shots. And honestly, I think it's a fairly reasonable little include in the unit for 5 points to get you a fair bit of extra anti-infantry firepower, even if it is very close range. I just like it because you're not giving up the combi bolter, which is essentially an 18-inch assault 2 plasma gun. You do have to take it on the sergeant which for me would make you a bit wary about overcharging it, as losing a massive 3 wound terminator sergeant isn't really what you want to be doing. Again, fairly take or leave for me, a little bit of extra firepower, but you're not really going to get all that big a return unless you play it risky and overcharge, and I would only do this if you had a source of reroll ones around. Finally we have the Volkite Charger, a 20 inch heavy 2 weapon with strength 5, AP 0 and damage 2, and you get mortal wounds on 6s. Honestly, I just wouldn't really bother with this one myself. It's not really all that much of an upgrade over the standard Storm Bolter when you get Bolter Discipline with it. After the various bits of special war gear, the Grenade Harness and the Reaper Autocannon tempt me the most, and I'd say the Grenade Harness is the best value, just because you get the extra firepower without giving up any Storm Bolter shots. For me though, the real wins of the units come down to two loadouts that I think might be competitive against the other Terminator variants. First of all, the squad has access to Lightning Claws, and very helpfully, you can either take two Lightning Claws, or one Lightning Claw and a Combi Bolter. As we already mentioned, two Lightning Claws is kind of inferior to Assault Terminators. They only cost 33 points, where these guys cost 34. But I think that the Lightning Claw and Combi Bolter combo is really quite interesting. At only 34 points, they're significantly cheaper than most Terminators. You still get the same amount of shooting attacks, and with the extra attack that the Lightning Claw gives you, you'll still get four attacks per Terminator on the charge, re-rolling all wound rolls, and AP minus two. 
They're not generally going to be all that efficient against very heavy targets like tanks, although to be honest they can still be pretty decent if you're in certain chapters such as Blood Angels or White Scars. Blood Angels for the plus one to wound, White Scars for the plus one damage in their assault doctrine. I just really like the way that this unit could be a really good anti-infantry threat, jump down, hose people with 20 bolter shots, then charge in and deal even more damage, and there also wouldn't be anything to stop you taking a chain fist on the Terminator Sergeant as well to make the most of his three attacks. It sounds like a very well-rounded and scary little unit to me. The other decently competitive loadout that has me interested are taking a full squad with combi bolters and chain fists. One of the issues with the standard Terminator squad is that they're locked to taking a power sword on the sergeant, so with your model with three attacks, you're arguably hitting with a weapon that's less valuable. I find it interesting as well that you get no discount for the Terminator sergeant's power sword. All of the Terminators in the standard Terminator squad are 38 points which helps to narrow the gap a bit against the Relic Terminators costing one point more. If you were looking at two squads with maximal chain fists on each, then your regular Terminators would cost you 190 points, but take the Power Sword, where a Relic Terminator squad could cost you 195 points, so 5 points more, but get an all-important chain fist on the Sergeant. I think that upgrading 4 Power Sword attacks for 4 chain fist attacks is generally going to be a very solid deal. So while I think it's disappointing that Games Workshop some of the main rules flavour from these units, I am pleased to see that they can at least still be taken in a competitive army list. Terminators are looking super strong right now, and having the freedom to take all the lightning claws or chain fists that you want in a squad is really quite a nice bonus, and being able to throw some extra grenades in there might not be a bad deal for an extra 5 points. So let me know what you think of the Relic Terminators down in the comments below, and feel free to check out my other Space Marine videos on the channel, I did do a bit of analysis with Power Fists vs Chain Fists recently, which you might find interesting if you're playing Terminators. Feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics to see more, and if you have been enjoying the videos on the channel, I'd just like to mention that I do have a Patreon page, which you can find down in the video description. Making all of these videos does take a fair amount of time, so if you are enjoying regularly, then any support is massively appreciated. Channel Patreons get to see certain videos early before anyone else, there's regular votes to see what sort of things come next on the channel, and you also get entered into the regular monthly All Specs Tactics prize giveaway, with a chance to win some big model kits. If any of that sounds good to you, or you'd just like to help support the channel, then the link is down in the video description below. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.